Hello everyone, thanks for joining me once again today and we're gonna talk about making potting mix yourself that could save you a lot of money. Now, when I go to the big box stores, Home Depot, Lowe's, or wherever it is, you'll likely find something like this on the shelf or in the, on a pallet outside. You know, uh, one example is this miracle Grow, and miracle Grow has a great name for um, uh, plant food, for example. I used to use it, and still do, uh, quite often, and it really helps uh, with your, your plant's growth. It, but they also make things like this, this potting mix, in a bag and um, utilizing the great brand strength of potting mix or miracle grow and the reality though is is that it's nothing more than peat moss compost perlite and maybe a little fertilizer so you can do this yourself and save save quite a bit of money and by the end of this video i'm going to share with you the cost and the cost savings by doing it yourself so what you want to do is mix peat moss, one part peat moss, one part compost, and a half part of perlite. What perlite is, I'm gonna get some out here. It's this stuff here that you've seen in uh, potting mix before. It feels like, um, like a styrofoam almost, but it absorbs moisture and helps the moisture to stay in your soil so that your, where your roots can continue to feed. If you want to, now miracle Grow uh, product also has a little bit of um, fertilizer in there. And you could sprinkle your own fertilizer into it if you like. You don't need that much. Or you, if you prefer, which, which is what I do, I like to use my potting mix as potting mix. And then if I want a certain type of fertilizer, I'll put that around the plant afterwards. So we're gonna get into it right now. We're gonna, I'm gonna use this pitcher to measure the parts. You don't have to do, um, any specific thing you know as far as like a container you don't have to measure out cubic feet so it'll be uh, one of these uh, times uh, one of these for each of the uh, peat moss and also of the uh, compost and then a half of one of the uh, perlite but I'm gonna make a larger quantity so I'm probably gonna do eight eight and then four because I want to fill up this bin and make myself a larger quantity because I need a lot. Now, if you're only gonna make, you know, if you only need a little bit, then sure, buy the bag, that's fine. Uh, and by the way, they sell these in, um, in quarts, is what the, but everything else is sold in cubic feet. So you, you have to do the calculation. I've already done it for you. I'll share the savings and the cost difference at the end. Now let's get into mixing up our potting mix. Like I said, the first thing we're gonna do is our peat moss. I'm putting it in dry. And then after I get some of it in, I'm gonna wet it a little bit and try to get this stuff moist to grab a little moisture. Three. All right, so I'm gonna change it up. I'm looking at, I've got four of this in this bin already, and I can't do eight, eight, and four. I'm gonna have to do four, four, and two because otherwise I'll have too much here. So now we're gonna wet this a bit. Now I'm gonna pour in the perlite because it'll be easier to mix if I've got some of it here and then we put on the uh, compost and then more perlite, it'll be easier to mix up. And now we got the compost. Okay, here's four, and now the last bit of perlite. Now we just have to mix it thoroughly. You gotta make sure you get everything. Turn over this peat moss in the bottom, which I feel like you gotta really dig down. Break any clumps up with your hands, too. I 
so we're done with that. Now, one thing I would do differently next time, and what I would recommend to you is, you know, I'm trying to make a big bin here, but mixing that much was not easy. I think you would want to make it in smaller portions, mix it up, and then continue from there as you need more. Uh, just because getting to the bottom of this bin to make sure you're getting all that peat moss up was a little difficult. So let's compare the difference here. The one on your left is the one I mixed up, and the one here on your right is the one out of the bag. Now, the one that I mixed up looks like it's got a little bit more perlite, and the one out of the bag looks like it's got more peat moss. It's fluffier. So what does that mean? That means you're also paying a little bit more for air, okay? Uh, I believe I've got more compost in mine than they have in theirs, and it was a 50-50 mixture of peat moss and compost that I put in, okay? Here we go again. This is falling out. Um, so there's that. Let's talk about the costs. Now, when you're buying a bag like this, like I said, from, from the uh, big box store or even online, you're buying it in quarts. And we want to do the cubic foot conversion. And when I did that and compared all the costs, okay, the bag is costing you $9.60 on average per cubic foot. You might find it a little cheaper, a little more expensive wherever you shop. The stuff that I just mixed up costs $5.60 per cubic foot. It's about a 40% savings. Like I said earlier though, if you just need one bag, you need a little bit, buy the bag, it's easier. You don't want to go through the trouble of buying the items in bulk like I did. Now, the best pricing that I found for the peat moss, the compost, and the perlite was at Walmart. It was not at your big box store. It was not even at on Amazon. Amazon was more expensive than Walmart. So uh, if you want to truly save money and you have a lot of potting mix to mix up, not just for pots, but this is great to put beneath your flowers and bushes that you're planting around the house, outside of the house as well. So um, give me a, uh, your thoughts. Would you do this? Do you think this is a legitimate uh, cost savings for you? And did you find the video helpful? If so please hit that like button. Look forward to your comments about it down below. I appreciate you and look forward to presenting you with more money-saving tips like this. Have a great day.